There we go. Wow. Got him. A giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm freaking out. What the hell are we doing? I don't know. We're up way too early. <laughs> it is February 27th this morning. Um, me and Tom had a little too much to drink last night. And Tom nodded his head just like that when I started talking about fishing. He wanted to come out and see what it was all about. So out here lake trout fishing. My dad's behind me. Um, Matt Eastman, Mike Forrester, they're back there too. Hopefully they hook into a good one. But uh, out here sitting in the tree stand trying some more. Um, trying to get on some more big fish. Uh, new spot. We had a cold snap last week. Um, geez, we got down to like negative 20. So some new water is frozen over and we're a little bit further south giving it a try. So that's it. Stay tuned. Where you at? Good one? Yeah. Take that out if you want it. Like where your drag's at? It might be a little tight, but I think it's frozen. It'll loosen up here in a second. Now I'm loosening it up now. And, yeah, loosen him up just a hair. Nice. Oh, yeah. Got some friends with him. Huh? Back down to, I don't really know, probably that 30 40. There we go. <laughs> nice. Run him with it a little, huh? Let him see. There we go. Lane's got fish on. Shoot this a little. How was your hook set? 10, 15 seconds. I hope good. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hear you or anything. I just looked over and you were... This one's a Trent catch here. On the bottom? Yeah. Nice. Um, you must have the, the secret sauce because I can't even get them to look at it. Just my luck. Did you add any idea? Who's out? 65. Ooh. He's a fighter. Nice. 65. See, this is why I got up at 4 o'clock. This is it. This is it. I'm going this to my grandson. Best fight you can have in fresh water. Sure what to do, just tell me. I don't know what to do either, bud. Think <laughs> <laughs> he's coming now, bubbles are coming up. I 
doesn't show his head, does he? Want me to get your graph out of the way so you can move? There he is. Oh man. Oh man. Nice big old head. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Turn. Thank you. Get this in. Perfect. Sorry, Tom. You're all right. Just throw them on here. That's a long fish. Big ass fish. Okay. Nope. 19. Nope. 20. 22. 21.62. Nice. First 20 pounder, ain't it? Yeah. Nice. Here you go. Woo! <laughs> 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 nice. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, today is Monday, last day of February, February 28th, and it is definitely 100% officially the last day I'll be out on the ice for the year. I don't know how many weeks ago it was. I thought it was the last day, but we got some cold snaps and we're able to sneak out here some more. And what else is a guy to do but try and catch big lake trout? So out here again today, like I just said, it's Monday and I beat the crowd. I, I actually got a little bit of a late start. Uh, let's face it, yesterday, okay, let's back up even further. I really, there's only a couple times a year where I get a little bit out of hand and the next morning my head hurts and it's a good thing I'm not driving. One of those days was yesterday. So I wasn't in the greatest shape to be filming. Um, did shake it off. Well, last night I went to bed at 7.45 with the thoughts that I would just sleep in this morning, get some stuff around the house, get ready for this Florida turkey trip. Um, you know, just do around the house stuff. Well, I snapped awake at about 4.30, 4.45 with another headache that I definitely, or I guess I didn't kick fully yesterday. And I uh, had to pee because I guess I'm getting old. So uh, I figured I might as well go fishing. I asked my wife if uh, she knew I was crazy yet, and she said, yes, get the hell out. So anyway, I'm out here again. Yesterday I thought it was the last day. Weeks ago I thought it was the last day. Today's definitely the last day. So got just a little bit of glow in the sky. It's like probably 6.15, getting close to 6.15 now, and nobody else is here yet. So we're going to give her hell. Thanks for coming along. Got two, two fish come on the screen here, <laughs> and uh, quite honestly, like I've done previously in the year, I did everything wrong, tried my normal stuff, and I just I reeled through the pack hoping that one would take off and uh, come try and, of course, kill this bait getting away, and that's exactly what happened. I reeled up and screwed up because I stopped and there was one on the way and I continued reeling and he came and smoked it. So um, I could tell on the hook said he was a good fish. He uh, got his, he hit it probably like, I don't know, 45 feet. And then he got his wits about him at about, you know, 35, 40. And uh, he just brought me back down to the bottom. So really good fish. Um, hard to say how good, of course, but always fun to tango with these guys even if it doesn't happen that's that's what i've just had to keep in the forefront of my mind anymore even if this doesn't happen what a treat to be able to fight fish like this on fresh water
leaning on him pretty good and not moving him so now that I've rambled and probably sounded like an idiot maybe I'll shut up and try and catch this fish there's another fish they always seem to come on the screen <laughs> when you're fighting one Yeah, got two fish screaming up at this fish. All right, that's a good one here. I'm starting to get a little more excited as he's not moving from the bottom. No, no, no. I don't really know how close we are. Icing up. I think we're getting pretty close. Just because of the angles changing. But it's always um, always tough to reel when I get to it that lead or not in through these frozen islets. You don't know if they're gonna come back out and cause you to lose a fish. Still don't see them. shakes I did not like that I never got a glimpse of him oh man this is always good to, to have happen really you want them to grow on you <laughs> oh boy you can go all the way back. Just figure out you were hooked or what? That's what it really feels like. And I'm glad I didn't reel that leader uh, knot into the eyelets before that. That's the exact scenario. I was only probably about 12 inches away from reeling it into the pole, so. Oh, what a blessing. There he is, 45 feet. hate when they start doing that. Come on, buddy. Come on. You get to a point, I guess that point is right here, where you know the longer they're hooked, the better chance they have of getting off. All alone out here today. Um, Honestly, I had the whole spot to myself. Whew. Sorry for rambling. I watch these over and I think you need to be talking while the camera's running and then while I'm talking and the camera's running, I feel like such an idiot because of the things I say, so. <laughs> I don't know the right way about it. But uh, yesterday I had my dad out here, I had our buddy Tom Gred out here, just um, wanting to see what all the fuss was about really from from my point of view, he's been watching me ice fish and watching the um, YouTube series and wanted to come out and just check it out. So we did, and I think we've got an ice fisherman now because um, he was pretty jacked up about my dad catching his fish. 
um, said he understood what all everything was about so anyway yesterday I had all the fish landers in the world if I wanted and today I'm all by myself what we know is this is about a 20 pound fish and we're obviously hoping for bigger I just saw him at about 30 feet and I reeled up quite a bit. There's that leader. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my good god, Irene. Oh baby. <laughs> That's a long, fat fish. Oh, my knees are just shaking now. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Holy shit. See that head? Come on, dude. Come on, right here. Jeez! Yes! We got it! <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! That is a giant, giant fish. Holy crap, my hands is numb before we've even started here. Holy crap. Come on, big guy. Come on. Oh my gosh. Thank God you were hooked so good. There we got it out. Oh my God. That is a monster. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's cold out here this morning. I'm already freezing. We're gonna get some weights on this guy um, and a length measurement, maybe a girth measurement. We're gonna see how much he weighs first. Big old orange fins, heavy, heavy fish. Not as big as I thought. 22 and change, 23 pound fish. Oh, not quite. Really? 23 and change. Wow, I thought you were bigger than that. There you go, there you go, there you go. 40. Well, 40 with no, oh no. 40 with no tail pinch. Here we go, buddy. Oh. oh, oh, thank you. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, this is going to be painful. This is a bigger fish, I do believe. Uh, unless I fouled him. I just got my bait back down. Just barely got my bait back down. Holy crap. trying to wow unless he's fouled you got to be kidding me with that holy crap Holy crap. Still going. I, 
I don't like to put any more pressure on them than what I've got. He feels very heavy. Anyway, I just got my bait back down there, trying to warm my hands up because they're frozen from dunking them in the damn drink and dealing with that fish. And this, this dude came in. I saw one small fish on the screen, screwing with him, and then this dude came in and smacked it. But look. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was a... <laughs> anyway, this dude come in and smacked it, and I set the hook, and he's nothing but weight. And then that scream and run. But what makes me really nervous is the angle in which he took off. He took off underneath my feet, which isn't normal for him to just take off, you know, at an angle, really. They're a, they're a fight you straight up and down fish for a long time until you get him close to the hole. Just the weight of him, he's went behind me, now he's over there. I just don't know. It's almost like he's at the surface, so. I don't know what we've got. I hope I'm not crying wolf, but he was heavy as hell. And he went on a run like I've never seen it. I hope the camera's on. <laughs> I mean, he's still very, very heavy. Let's see, this is a, you guys already know it. Woo this is a heavy rod, very stiff. And he's got it bent as much as I've seen it bend. I hardly ever stick my this tip in the water. I really don't like to get shit covered in ice, but at this point, it's already so covered in ice. I've got to melt it, and I got to get this angle right. I hate when they'll burn a hole in the ice and basically create a secondary pressure point, right? They'll burn a hole um, where your line is stuck in there, and then when they switch directions, you can create that slack. And this dude is trying everything he can to do that. See, there was a, a kind of a mini version. If you've watched any of these videos before, you know that the 30 pounder I caught, I mentioned on there, I thought he was fouled because it was similar to this. I, you know, I don't want to cry wolf, but fish act similar. Brings you back to those times. I don't really know where the hell he is. He took so much line. I've got, feels like a lot back, but I'm really not sure. Just said it, not 15 minutes ago real time and probably camera time. If this doesn't happen, enjoy it. I've had a lot of times in my life where I wanted it to happen and it didn't. And that can piss you off, and I get that. But, geez. You have to enjoy it, no matter what the final outcome is. Like playing in the damn Super Bowl. I just hope he's not fouled and, and we're for real here. Because this is a very heavy fish. I just fought the 24 and I was very excited. This one I'm so damn excited, I'm just nervous again. This 
see me put my hand on this. I don't want to tighten the drag because of how big these fish are and one one quick head shake can end your end your time. But when I can get some of that momentum, I hope to kind of guide him a few feet. Keep this momentum going. in a second, yep. Okay, we're making progress here. Progress is good. Come on, big guy. Come on. Here's the other part that I'm not super fond of. My hands are warm. When you catch a big fish, I hate to put this in the universe, I try and retie. What can happen is that knot can get so tight that I've had it break. The line break at that knot. So you get down there and you catch back to back big fish. It's just, it was dumb, but I was so cold and it's prime time I got back down there. That's my reasoning. Okay, he's finally right under us. There's my leader knot. Mama, come on, baby. There we go. I haven't seen him. I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. It is harder than hell to get a big fish through this spot. One spot in the ice. If we had a net, we'd have him. Come on. I 
God, you don't want to horse it, but how long are we going to play this? It's around the horn fucking game here. Is fouled. He's fouled, but he is still a giant. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I'm freaking out! Holy crap! He's fouled and he's huge! Oh my god! What have I just done here? What? Have I just done? Oh my God. Oh. oh, I don't know if I can even tell you guys I can stay calm. What have I done? Oh my gosh. I hope these pictures are okay. Holy crap. That is a fish of a lifetime. Oh, hooked in the fin and we still got him up. How the hell did we do that? Okay. Oh, I could stare at you forever, buddy. Oh my God. This doesn't seem real. This does not seem real. Oh, scales right here. This might be, I'm not wondering if this isn't the same fish. Um, it's been fairly popular at Swim Beach. Being caught. Okay, here we go. Might be an expensive fish. No, that ain't gonna do it. I need a different system here. I know, buddy, I know. Believe me, believe me. I know how you feel. Here we go. 39, are you gonna hit 40? Nope, 38, 39, 39, yes! yes! Okay, I'm gonna give him some air and I'm gonna try and get some good picks. Oh my God, what are you even? What are you? Oh, okay. I know, I know. What we're doing is getting him a little air. He's so damn big, I don't wanna, this might have been a mistake. I wanna shoot him back down the hole. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. He is, this is gonna be half a guesstimate, okay? Just deal with it here. 40, he's 40, almost 40, God. 45 inches long by what? Forty-five by twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Wow, okay. Okay. Unbelievable guys. Unbelievable, I don't know what I've done. But I had fun doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> I was destined to wake up today. It's just, that's all there is to it. Okay, another drink. Try and get some good picks. Oh my God, dude. Look at that fish. One shitty pick. I don't even know if you got that on camera. Holy crap. Oh, you're ready. That makes me so happy. You sure? Love you. Thank you. See you later. Nope. I'm not going to let you go till you do it. Come on. 
Give me that second kick. There you go. There he goes. There he goes, I'm watching him die. Oh, thank God. I was getting really nervous. I mean, I had that fish out longer than you want, longer than I wanted. A lot of crap to do. You miss out on the chance of a lifetime by not getting a fish, hell, I don't, or a picture. Hell, I don't know. I'm slimed. I'm exhausted. My hands are so cold they wouldn't hit the, uh, I couldn't hit the numbers on my phone. It wasn't plus the slime probably, but my hands are so cold they're numb. Oh. My dad did a snow angel yesterday for his 21 pounder. So, guess I will too. A 22 pounder. Oh my God. Uh, all right. Just, I took off my coat because it's so nasty. I never video this portion because it's embarrassing. Kind of. But, oh hands they got so damn cold and numb and you try and thaw them uh, this guy over here if you come out and fish for lake trout and you bring a border collie let me know because you think i am just the craziest who has ever lived i'm sure of it the constant talking over here the screaming he's sitting over there going what the hell is this guy doing well, having a good time. <laughs> oh. oh, man. There's no hurry to get back down there. What the hell am I gonna do, catch one bigger than that? Oh. Oh. Come on. This is the payback they give you right here. This is it. This is the payback. You might win. Uh, you might win the war, but you're going to lose a few battles along the way. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit. And all by myself. Nobody to enjoy it but me and God. Holy crap. I, uh, I can't put it all into work. I... My brain still jumbled, but I'm calmed down. What I was trying to say, when that whole thing was happening, I started to say it about four times, but that fish looked familiar. And he looked familiar because of that um, big hump on his head. And his, he's got a just a cool looking nose. He's got a cool looking head, period. But uh, I know that my buddy Daryl Meeks caught that fish. And then another buddy, Kurt Barton. I know that when Daryl caught him, I don't remember, it was like 46 or 48, and then Kurt said he was 44 or 46 pounds, something like that. And then I just had him at 39 and change, basically 40 pounder. So is my scale a little off? I've been bitching about that scale, they always look bigger. Is my scale off or is it winter time and he's just, you know, he doesn't have as much in his belly? Or is he getting old? I mean, I, mean, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, his weight doesn't matter. I, it's the first fish I've ever taken a length and a girth measurement on. He may go on my wall just because of the story of him, a uh, replica, obviously, um, but my God, a foul hooked 40 pounder. <laughs> I uh, don't know how, I don't know how we got him up the hole. I really don't. Uh, the hook wasn't in, it was in his pectoral fin. It wasn't in super deep. Um, I guess just for once I did everything right. That's I lowered the drag at the right time. I put the damn tip of the pole in the water at the right time. Um, everything just worked so thanks for watching it i hope like hell you enjoyed it uh half as much as i enjoyed being out here um hey i can i can go home happy now uh i'll see you guys on the next one whenever the hell that is see ya